Welcome back, it's your boy KT, and today we're going to be reacting to Horror Story Animated. So look y'all, we're going to turn this into a Try Not To Get Scared Challenge. I want y'all to stay tuned, let's do this. I used to work the graveyard shift at a Dunkin Donuts. For those of you who don't know what a Dunkin Donuts is, it's basically a donut chain that sells coffee, breakfast items, and of course, donuts. This brings me to a little over a month ago when our location was recently selected to become 24 hours. A lot of other establishments would maintain a 24 hour drive through window, but ours was fully open. I'll be honest, it was interesting to see the new types of customers who would come in during these hours. We of course had the hipsters and goths who had nothing better to do at 3 a.m. than to sit in a coffee shop drinking one cup for an hour. There were the occasional overworked businessmen and interns trying desperately to finish that last minute presentation. A couple weeks ago I had encountered a new type of customer though he is very difficult to describe. Have you ever met someone that makes you nervous for some unknown reason? Well, at around 2.30 a.m. a man walked in with a large overcoat, with a collar pulled up, and a black beanie on his head. What struck me as odd first was the lack of people in our lobby. Normally at this time we'd have the goths huddled in the corner cursing the system or something. But the entire store was empty aside from this man, myself, and my manager who was in the back. Probably sleeping or something. After this person walked in, I thought it had to be a homeless man trying to escape the cold and possibly seek out a hot cup of pity. Uh, of course he's sleeping. It's 2 a.m. I'll be sleeping too at that time. But then I saw his face. He was somewhat gaunt, but cleanly shaven. His eyes had dark circles around them as if he were tired, but he seemed quite energized. He then walked up to the counter. At that moment, I realized how tall this guy was. Like Kobe mm. tall. I asked him what he would like to order. He just stared straight ahead as if he were zoning out. I repeated my question a bit louder. He only said well, one Yeah, word. I feel like store clerks act like you know what you want right then and there. Y'all got like 50 items on y'all menu and y'all gave me like 2.5 seconds to figure out what I want. How am I supposed to do that? Talk about under pressure much. Oh, The man then leaned down and looked me in the eye and asked me if I was alone. I told him I wasn't, that my manager was in the back room. He then pulled out a few crumpled up dollar bills, handed it to me, and then walked back out of the door without taking his coffee with him. As soon as he left the building, I felt this intense atmosphere lift up from around me. I was at a loss for words, to be honest. I quickly rushed to the back yo, and my manager I would have been like, yo, my boss in the back right now, you know what I'm saying? We got somebody out in the trash, you know what I'm saying? Hey, bye. To which he told me to put we the man's food. money aside in case he comes back for it. The next night, everything was back to normal. The usual customers sat in their respective seats, sipping their coffee. While I was keeping myself busy and mopping the floor, I couldn't help but think about the interaction I had last night. That's when I happened to look out of our front window. I saw him. He was standing What's across the dog? street under a street light. He was just standing there, staring at me. I turned to see if my manager was behind. Oh, second thought. I ain't never been by myself ever since working this job. When I looked back, he was gone. And oh, then, I not creepy at all. Unnerved. My last night working there was the worst by far. And all <laughs> I bet it was your last work. night. I know. <laughs> people working before me. That's when I received a call from my manager telling me that he had a family emergency and would be a few hours late. I was upset, but there wasn't much I could do, so I just said all right. After three uneventful hours of me cleaning the same racks over and over again to keep my mind off things, I glanced out of the window once more. What I saw made my blood turn to ice. The man was standing on the other side of the window. He was grinning at me with a sinister smile that caused my body to seize up. Right away, I pulled out my cell phone and called the police. While my phone was ringing, the man did something strange. Without peeling his eyes from the glass, he pulled out a cell phone from his pocket. I watched him carefully as he began to type something into the phone without even looking at it. 
At that moment, my phone buzzed, notifying me of a text. The message said, Now you're alone. <gasps> oh! You better run! How you gonna do? How you know he was alone? He was scoping you out for the longest, man. That's what it is. All the other. Hey, my man. Was the eight dollars worth it? We're gonna do this one too. I'm gonna react to the other one. Yeah, I like this music too. Yeah, that was cool. I like these little animated stories, especially the trying to get scared with. I see why y'all be saying do these more. Yo, this is by Kalart. So uh, good looking Kalart for doing this. I really do appreciate it. I liked it. It was cool. Eventually, I'm about to start learning how to do these myself. But right now, I guess getting back to YouTube is enough. Let's just say. Hey, what can I say? I know you guys are glad to have your boy back. I am glad to be back. And we're all glad to be back with each other. What did you feel about this? I liked it personally, so we're gonna add these to the quotas. You can expect these every day at 7 p.m. Try not to get scared challenge. So once you come on through and watch it, so you're gonna wanna make sure you smash the like button because uh, it's gonna get pretty awesome. Hey, what can I say? And that's for you know, I gotta go. Peace. Can't touch me. Can't touch me. Ja, 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 just like the bad guy.